Hello YouTube, it's me again. Um, I've made a few changes to the rocket stove I built last week. I used it all weekend, loved it, but I wanted one with a hot plate, so I'm bu I built one. This is the original rocket stove. I've changed that plate to a thicker one and put the knob on there and I've built a hot plate it's one inch deep it's made of three millimeter steel plate it's got internal baffles pushing the heat all around so that it can't just go straight through and out uh, it's been going for five minutes now. Stainless steel pipe for the chimney. Yeah, seems all right to me. It's got a little log rack. And if you just want to boil a kettle, you don't want to wait for the hot plate to warm up. little tool there open her up use her like you would before just as a normal rocket stove oh, I've just made this literally look I have just made it this is the first proper fire up So this is the test, see if it works right. <sighs> well, a little experiment. It's cooking an egg. It's not raging. But it is cooking. It did boil the kettle. There's my coffee. So yeah. It is cooking. Right, the kettle's boiling. But I found if you take this off You get more heat, so you get a faster boil. But if you take that, which is what I cut from the top, put that on, you get crazy hot. So I'm thinking, make something. will come along and position this so instead of just putting it on top it actually locks it in position so if you just want a quick boil of a kettle there you go I mean that is going mental take that off I won't touch it with my hand Yeah. It's all learning. It's all new. This is the first real test. Right, I've got an idea. Let's see how hot it is. Fairly hot. hot <laughs> very hot <laughs> and what I'm thinking of doing 
is building a metal box that fits under here, slides in, and we'd have a little oven. And if it's not good enough to be called an oven, we call it a Cornish pasty warmer. But yeah, metal box that fits in there, slides in with a handle. Might as well use the space. It's pretty hot underneath. <laughs> Might work. It's only a bit of metal and a bit of time. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Put this plate back on. Yeah. So far so good. More testing needed. I wasn't getting a proper burn. I was getting a lot of smoke. It was like it was struggling to draw in air. So I've been experimenting and I've come up with this. I've drilled a hole in the back of the firebox above where the wood would be. And it's sucking air in like crazy through there. And it's giving me a better, better burn more complete combustion you see it in the back of the box there seems to be running a lot better now a lot happier with that I might make it a bit bigger I figure, yeah, I'll listen. Right, ready? I figure, make a little flap that'll swing over it if I want it closed. Nothing to lose. But at the moment, yeah, it seems to be much improved.